everyone. I'm ready to share with you guys the pre-order for the Travels, uh, Traveler's Junk Journal kit. Um, literally a full kit. So here's a book that I'm going off the theme on the entire thing. I got this book from Kristen from Rock Paper Treasures about a year ago and I really love the idea and I wanted to be able to provide the items for you guys to create something very similar to this. So you will be getting many things and I can't wait to share with you guys um, each piece. So let me go ahead and grab the first item you will be getting in this kit. Okay, so each kit you will be getting um, a variety of things here for the cover. You will be getting a Tim Holtz uh, face plate, which here you'll see, I'm sorry, the glare of my, um, my window, but um, Get it up a little bit closer. So each kit will have one of those, either that style or that style. Each one will have the hitch hook fastener um, and the band um, for you to provide. Um, also, I also decided to add, um, Tim Holtz had this really cool swivel clasp that I really liked. Um, so I'm gonna put one in each. If I could show it to you guys, that poor window decides to ruin this video. Um, either way, I think you guys kind of get the idea. So that there you use for your charm or like some kind of tassel or, um, it also says that, um, which I'm learning about your guys' new little pieces here is that you could also be used as a book closure. So, hmm, I'm curious on how that would work. So that might be something you might want to use instead of this. So I have that. Um, I also have the, uh, a variety of fabrics as well. Um, like I said, I got this from Kristen Rock Paper Treasures a year ago. I just loved it. And I wanted to be able to share with you guys things that you can get, like the laces and pieces. So I'm trying to make it very similar to this style. So um, each kit will get burlap, which you can see here. Um, that is the tablecloth I have going on right now. Um, each will have the, the linen here. Um, but mine's going to be a little bit different. I didn't want to be exact. I really liked, and I'm going to show you guys this. It has like a little shimmer in it. Um, and it still has the lines and stuff in it. I love that one better. So I'm going to have that. Um, so that goes for that, but I also am going to add in some, you know me, I love my fabric. So each kid's going to have a piece of this. I'm not sure the size, but I just loved it. There's something about it that was different. Um, I'm not sure, maybe like a pocket size or something similar to that. I really fell in love with this fabric. Um, I don't know if the lighting will show it, um, but it's got like a diamond print to it. And it's like, if you can see that as I move the fabric, it's just something about it. Um, I'm hoping to get a um, pretty good size of that in each. And then I have this leftover fabrics I used on a quilt once and I really loved it. It's almost like a tea dyed or coffee dyed fabric. I don't know if the lighting, you can see it. Um, but I figured you could use that for layering or use it as an inside liner of your junk journal. Um, who knows? You might want that. Um, I'm not sure what Kristen put into hers. Yeah, she just kept the, the regular book page, the inside, but some people like to line it with their own or do the core, uh, binding as well. I like how she did that with hers. Um, so I'm going to provide a piece of that to at least get the inside of your cover. Um, and then I was going to also include, I love satin. I'm not sure if you use this for tabs or use it as like a ruffle along a page, but it's just a beautiful creamy satin. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's just gorgeous. And I had plenty of it. So, um, I was going to add some of that into each kit. Also, I had this, it's not the coffee dyed. I have like this, a uh, diamond type fabric. I'm just trying to stay with the browns and the creams um, that you can put a variety of pieces in that. That is the fabric. So let me go ahead and grab um, the books that I'm offering in this kit. Okay, I've been very excited to share with you guys these. I know I'm crowded up the screen here. Um, each traveler kit will have a full size Reader Digest book. They're all vintage. Each cover is different. As far as choosing your cover, I'm not going to make that an option only because it's just there's so many designs. I mean, the reason why I picked the, uh, the Reader's Digest book is because the size. It's perfect for making a traveler sized 
uh, junk journal um, and uh, I figured if you don't want to cover that up you have that design so there's reds there's creams there's yellows there's blues um, all vary in the age and style but I'll tell you one thing what's really cool about these these uh, books is one the size but when you do check out for your junk journal uh, travelers junk journal you get two options one is that you can have say you don't want the pages. Say you don't want it, um, you get to choose not to have it. I will core, uh, take the, the inside of the book out for you. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is for a couple of reasons. One, some people don't want pages. Two is the weight. Each one of these books weigh a pound. My junk journal kits usually weigh a pound. And I don't want, you guys know me, I like affordable prices. $25.50 is what my kits always go for. I want the shipping to be around four fifty five bucks the most. And so um, if you don't want the additional weight, you get the option to choose the difference for the cost. Because um, if you do choose the two pound kit, of course shipping is going to be a, a bit more. Um, but the shipping uh, for the uh, regular one pound is going to be around four fifty, dollars like usual. So kind of give you guys an idea. But I love Reader's Digest. Um, every book is different. Every book age is different. Um, most of them are nearly brand new. Um, what's cool, they got the beautiful inside pages. Some have really cool, colorful book um, pages. Um, I, it's totally up to you guys, but I just want to provide you guys at least a hard shell to get started. Um, and I love the size. Um, I wonder if I could get a face plate to show you guys really quick. Um, let me see, I got a handful that are out. Um, so then you kind of have an idea course you could do your own if you want to say journey or whatever you want to say on the inside kind of an idea um, of what it will look like cool isn't it even if you don't want to put like Kristen did she looked like she maj uh scrapbook paper on there um, it gives you a variety of colors and choices um, again like I said in the listing I'm not sure if I'm gonna do by color because it's gonna be nearly impossible to describe each one but um, I like surprises so um, Let's see what else you're gonna get in this kit. Okay, so this is the next thing you'll be getting in this junk journal kit. Each kit will get a full size map. That's correct. Um, they're all different dates, times, and, and, uh, and makers. Uh, like there's Rand McNally, which again, I love the colorful pages he has. There's some by National Geographic. Um, but like I said, each one is full size and colorful. Uh, different ones like say National Geographic's has like, uh, let's see if I grab one here, Western Migration. What's really cool about it is the National Geographic ones has like the different era pieces you can cut out. What's cool about these full size maps is you can line it inside in your journal. You can cut them out and make pockets or you can use them to make tags. But um, each kit will get a full sized map. I think that is awesome. Um, again, each kit will have a different map, not one is the same, and there's all kinds. So I have plenty to go around, uh, plenty of places, um, and all that. I'll show you what else is in this kit. Okay, so each kit will be getting a vintage postcard. Um, you guys know me, I love my postcards. They're all crazy vintage. Um, each one is different. I can't say one will be the same. Um, there's just too many to uh, show. So like I said, each one will get a vintage postcard. Um, each kit, of course, will get uh, a whole pack of embroidery floss. Here's the variations and colors that I have. Um, I just love the colors and the style. I figured those would work. Um, these are great for stitching in your signatures. Um, I just thought it was perfect for your guys' work that you guys are gonna be creating. As those who know, I love my vintage buttons. So each kit will have a, a different style vintage button. Um, they're all different. Um, I do full packs. I do not cut a pack. Um, each one's different. And I kept the theme of the browns, creams, and tans, some blues, um, just to give you know a variety. So each kit will have a pack of buttons. And you guys know me, I love my vintage playing cards. So each kit is going to get six. Yes, six vintage playing cards. There's a whole variety here. Since it's travel and world, um, I figured I would do a variety. But look at these cool, crazy old, as you could tell. Oops, how did fish get in there? All right, 
So that is another pack. <laughs> and fish, of course. Look at these cool fish. They're perfect for the beach travel type theme. Um, crazy old. A lot of them are browned on the edges already. Um, this here, which the pack is right there. I kind of missed it. I got a whole pack of these. Isn't that crazy? Gorgeous. Of course, some air balloons. Um, I have here, of course, show you that. These are the same. Cool thing is they're not really glossy. They got the vintage, uh, feel and everything for them. I'll save you guys on work on trying to make it more vintage. Um, these are newer, obviously not crazy vintage, but I got Arizona. Of course, we've got to have Chicago because that's near where I live. Um, I love Chicago. Of course, like a license plate. I thought that'd be cool for travel. I have... This here is world famous Bourbon Street. I am not sure where that's at, but I just thought it was perfect for travel. Um, I have San Antonio, which is newer, but still perfect for travel. Um, so there's a variety of uh, vintage uh, playing cards. You'll get six in each. Let's see what else I have in this kit. Okay, stamps. You guys know I love stamps. Each kit's gonna get two vintage stamps. I wanted to make sure that you guys got, of course, not a baseball stamp there. Um, each kit got a U.S. airmail stamp. So each kit will have a U.S. airmail stamp and another travel stamp. But each kit will get a U.S. airmail stamp, which I love stamps. I don't know about you guys. Um, and uh, the ephemera pack included, like I said, ephemera is paper people, who those who don't know. Um, I will have ledger paper in each it's a smaller size, which is fine. You can use for tags or pockets. Um, I want to do a large index card um, in case you want to use it and cut it or use it as a whole to fold. Um, like I said, this kit is going to be a flat kit. Nothing's going to be folded or, um, a, you know, in any fashion cut. So it's all full pages. Um, some plain uh, game paper. Um, what's really cool is Kristen from Rock Paper Treasures is doing an ephemera kit in this junk journal kit. So not included, included is her stuff as well. I think she's doing between five and 10 coffee dyed papers. Um, she also is providing them in her shop. Um, some are coffee dyed, some are not, but they're all vintage papers. So she's putting together a really cool pack, which I can share with you guys as soon as I get it. Um, each kit is gonna have a ton of ephemera pages. This here is four books I absolutely love that I'll be taking pages from. I'm hoping to do one or two in each kit, but like different places like Yugoslavia, Italy, England, and Mexico is all I have right here. But what's really cool about these books that I absolutely love is one, the size, but two, uh, the stamps. There is a stamp on each page, um, one on each side it looks like. Some have two stamps, but it's stamps from in that location. Um, I figured, look at that, it's just crazy, especially the Italy one. England is really cool too. It's, I'm not sure what era it is, but look at those pages and those stamps on each page. So each kit will get one or two pages um, from these books. They're just gorgeous. I absolutely loved them. I had to use them. Um, as far as other pages, I'll be doing boats. Um, I can kind of show you like some of the pages I'm taking out. You'll have boats. Um, Themes and things about around the world you'll have inside pages of different books of travel. We got the world map pages. Everything's very colorful and um, will definitely catch your eye. So we definitely will have the beach travel, like you said, lighthouses. I will have some fish in there as well. Um, just different, you know, travel pieces that will Different sizes is another thing I was trying to focus on. I wanted to make sure you guys had a variety. Looks like I have some children's pages as well um, that are very colorful for beachy theme as well along with this travel. I still have the rip pages, but here's one of the books I'm ripping from. Oh, cool. I could throw that in one of the things. Oh, cool. I got two. Wow. That's always a, I like hit gold there when you get two library cards in a book. Um... But this here is all around the world, and the pages in it were just gorgeous. Um, you have two or three pages um, uh, per uh, kit in this book um, that I'll be taking from um, that are perfect to fold or to cut in your uh, kits. So that was my goal when I seen this book. I was like, I'm in love. 
So this here is definitely going to be in your uh, kits, two pages. Like I said, the Inferma Packs is going to rock in this uh, kit. So like I said, I have me and then I have Kristen throwing stuff in there. And then we have Julie from Jules Journals. I can't wait to show you what she has for this. Um, but here's a couple more books I'm taking from. It's the Golden Treasure Knowledge books um, that are vintage. I have some wildlife in there. I figured, heck, I can throw in some um, colorful pages about around the world and some wildlife in there as well. Um, everything's a bit colorful um, and bold, which I love. And yet some things are subtle for like the outside cover. So I just loved it. I just, I have to add this. <laughs> it's definitely gorgeous pages. I can't wait to fill them up for you guys. Um, here's another book about around the world. I love it. Some articles and advertisements I'll throw in there as well. Lots of pieces to work with. Like I said, this kit, I will not be cutting pages. They will be full size pages. So um, I'm going to love this. It's going to be fun. Here's a book from Rand McNally. It's an atlas from around the world. Um, I'll be throwing those in there as well. So you got like maps um, and you have different, different pages in there as well, along with maps. Uh, what book is this that I have? Um, Arts and Ideas. Oh yeah. So there's this book here I love because it's got buildings and stuff like that. Oh, sorry. It's upside down, guys. Um, that I love. So different buildings and structures I figured would be perfect for the travel. That also will be in there. Um, and then I have these book pages from the 1800s. There's Spain. Um, and then the, the other one is France. Um, but the pages were just gorgeous. I just... I know these are black and white, but I thought, gosh, got to throw a little bit of that in there as well. So that is the, some of the infirmary. There's more. I know I have more stamps. Oh yes, train tickets. So let me go grab a few more things for you guys. Okay, so like I said, I have vintage train tickets. These are different from the other kits. These have like a purple or like a pink, uh, if you guys could see that. I think these are Czechoslovakian as well, but um kind of see what they look like. This is the pinky one. You will get two in a kit. I think we do one purple and then we'll do one of the uh, tan color. Those are perfect for your pockets and things like that. Um, I have some a Happy Mail that I got um, and I figured I'll throw that in there as well. Um, let me see if I can grab all the things she has put in the Happy Mail so I can make sure you guys get them. Um, Santa, I uh, hope, honey, I said your name correctly, has sent me some happy mail and said maybe I can use these in the, the Traveler's Junk Journal kit. Sure, why not? I can share with you guys. She had cut out some map circles um, that um, I'll just throw in there so you guys have one of those. Perfect. Thank you, hon. And then some vintage stamps. Like I said, you get two vintage stamps. One is airmail and then um, some like this, different travel places from around the world, different eras and all that. So I love the colors of that. Thank you. She also supplied me with some of this uh, computer paper that was a, uh, look at that. And it opens up. My lighting is making it hard for you to see it. But um, look at that, how it opens up. It's plenty of space. I'm going to count. Hopefully I have 40. Like I said, I have 40 kits, 20 already taken. So if you're going to get a kit, you might, might want to get it right away. 20 will go very fast. Um, and, uh, if not, there'll be half this, this paper, but, um, I'm going to try to get a full size in every one as well. Um, that was happy mail. Thank you, hon, so much. And I get to share with you guys. Um, and then, uh, we have another shop, Jules Journals. Um, those are familiar with her because I'm always bragging about her as well. I love Julie. She's new to the Etsy world and YouTube. She had created, I'm sure you guys see in a video I've done already, on her uh, products that she's gonna be putting into this kit. Um, she stamped each one of her little paper sacks. Each one is different and each card is different. Each kit's gonna get two handmade cards by her. Oopsie daisy, I'm doing this backwards. Oopsie. <laughs> All right, so she stamped each one different stamps, uh, which is really neat because you can use these sacks in your journals, which is amazing, extra additional bonus. And in each one, she has two cards that she made by hand by Ram McNally uh, matte paper. Look at the stamp work she did. Look at all the little different beads and stuff like that she put on there. Beads, I mean buttons, hello. 
Um, and it's a card that you can add to in one of your pockets or paper clip in, but each one is different. Look at that tie knot she did with the crab. She stamped the crab onto that paper along with the, uh, the uh, compass. Look at that knot. Cool. They're all different. Not one is the same. I've looked at all of them pretty much. Look at that stamp at the top. Very talented, Julie. And now if you don't get a kit and you just want these, you can go to her shop. I'm going to put the link down there. She sells them. So look at that boat. Isn't that cool? Look at this one. Look at that fish. Love it, Julie. Thank you, Julie, so much. And I can't wait for you guys to get a part of her shop. Like I said, she makes the most beautiful cards, tassels, and journals as well. So she's part of that, and each kit gets two. Woohoo! Thank you, Julie. Um, let me see if I'm missing anything else. I think I got it. I have some play money that would be in here as well. I can't wait to show you guys what Kristen's adding to this kit. I wish I had it now, but she's still working on it like crazy. Oh, yep, yeah, I knew I forgot something it is lace. So I'm just going to bring the bin over and just show you like this. We got handmade lace, regular lace. Like I said, you need lace to finish up this journal. Either sew it on the covers or through your pockets, what have you. I will have a bunch of laces available um, in this kit too, like a little lace pack. So I hope you guys like the idea I have. Um, and far as tutorials, I'm sure um, I can help provide you with links to Etsy shops, uh, links to YouTube channels, and other people to help you provide you the um, how to make a signature, how to sew in pages, how to put lace, how to make a tab, how to make a pocket. There's a whole lot of people I want to share to help you out to make your very own book that's very similar to this. How to put these little things on, how to glue, how to what have you. So let me introduce you guys a bunch of shops. So I'll make sure um, each kit, I will have the link and information on each shop that I find that has great tutorials on how to create your own journal. As those who know, I don't make uh, tutorials and I don't do digital downloads or all those things, but I know shops who do. So um, I will introduce those shops and YouTube channels as well. So I hope you guys like what I put together and I can't wait till you guys get your very own Travel Junk Journals kit. You guys have a wonderful day.